Good morning to the vlog, and today we are leaving Nice for Paris. It's actually fairly early in the morning right now, and I'm doing my last, uh, last sweep of the area. So I'm upstairs right now in the loft. And as you can see, we don't have anything left behind, which is good. Now last night, we had some fun with the ceiling leaking. Um, you can see like water stains here. Uh, and up here it wasn't even as bad as it was downstairs. Downstairs, you see where this, um, what are you gonna call it? This thingy? Uh, there's like, a, it goes deeper in here and it's further up. Anyway, it was leaking really bad through there, like kind of like a waterfall. So, we told our Airbnb host, she apologized profusely, and she's just gonna look into it, which is good. So, down there's all of our stuff. Head down these stairs, these slanted stairs, and say goodbye to this cute loft area because we got everything out of there. And then come down the stairs. And our, the, we have to take out the garbage. The garbage is there. Um, laundry, she asked us to put the laundry aside, so we did that, and our recycling aside. We have our bags packed and ready to go. Uh, last sweep of the bathroom. This should probably go in here. And this is more garbage. Right. The floor mat needs to go in the um, laundry. Also, the shower does not have a door. Just saying. That's the bathroom. And then let's put this in the laundry bag. Well, I guess that's where it goes. And that's pretty much it. That's the apartment. It's pretty. Oh, she said to close the window, so I'll do that. And we've done all the dishes, taken out the garbage. It's all good. Oh, right. This is where it was leaking last night. So, like, under here, I think. And I was like, just one of the places. Yeah, just one of the places, but it was like waterfall. So that was, that was something. You can see, I think there's like water stains on the floor. Well, it's still wet down there. Yep. We should probably wipe that up. Just got out of our Airbnb. We had a very nice driver who dropped us off here. Because our Airbnb is somehow up there. We got stairs, guys. Let's go. We're on the second floor. Okay, so let's tour this Airbnb. So, our host doesn't speak English, but that's okay because I speak a little bit of French. So when you first enter, this is from the view from the doorway, you walk right into this kitchen, and this is bigger than our last kitchen. So it's more than okay. Um, there's actually a uh, dishwasher here from what I understand down here, though I don't think we're gonna use that. Um, and then we got, you know, all the doors, the usual cutlery and stuff. I like this situation going on here. Um, and then you look this way and it's the living room. And there's actually a very large table and a nice couch. And the view is really not that exciting, but it's cute enough. And you can definitely tell it's fall because the leaves are uh, are turning brown. Um, it's all these little books. I like that chair. That's kind of cool. I don't think you can sit in it though. Maybe you can. Maybe I'm wrong. Walk this way, and it is the bedroom. And again, we didn't have a bedroom at our last place, so it's kind of nice. This is funky. Um, another big window. Um, Turn this way, and it is the bathroom, which, guys, there's a washing machine. <laughs> we have not had a washing machine this entire time. There's also a tub, though it looks kind of dirty, but that's okay. We're only showering in it. We're not taking any baths. Um, also, it's nice and cool in here, which is very good because our last places have been quite warm, and it's kind of annoying because when you're trying to sleep, it gets really hot. So yeah, it's it's the perfect place, I think. Like, I really like it. Um, that is that is the tour of this Airbnb, and there's a New York City map. I, I feel it. So we are going to get settled in. We, we are going to get settled in. And then this key has a cute little keychain on it. Good morning to the vlog, and today we are in Paris. Uh, this is our Airbnb. This is the view, as you've seen in the thing when I toured the Airbnb. 
And today we are going out in Paris. We're not doing all the major sites today, we're doing those tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But we are going to see a bunch of colorful houses. We're going to see um, the Centre Pompidou and we are going to a cat cafe. This guy is laughing at the cat cafe idea because he really wants to go see a cat cafe. So we're doing that and we're going to take you along with us, so let's go. stop on today's trek is this road because it has all these really neat colors of things neat colors of houses and buildings so I'm gonna do a couple photos here So I recognize this thing from Pokemon Go, <laughs> this, uh, this uh, little carving, because there's a lot of Pokemon here, a lot of unique Pokemon. So now we just pause to look for Wi-Fi to see if we can get some, so we can get some of the cool Pokemon that are here that aren't near us. Update, there's no Wi-Fi, but it is a pretty building, and it's right outside of this thing, which I kind of really like, really liking these colors. So, at least there's that. C'est le place de Bastille. It's a uh, Bastille place. I just said that in French. Ha! Okay, well, we came to see this. It's really pretty, and now we're walking that way, or that way, not really sure which, one or the other, to go find the cat cafe. We found it! There's a kitty. I found a kitty. And there's the sign that introduces all the different cats that they have here. They have five here, I think. We got a Chantilly cake to share in this lovely cat cafe where we watch these cats snooze. Like, look at this one. It looks so derpy and cute. Aww. Cat be like, I'm awake now. Hello. Normally, I do not like designer purses, but I think that one right there is quite pretty. Why?
So fun fact about this building, well, not about the building, but about me and this building. In high school, I actually did a project on us, on this, uh, in 11th grade, I believe it was. So I kind of wanted to come here to see it in person. However, it is closed, so we can't actually go inside. But that's not really a big deal because I didn't, I didn't necessarily want to go inside. I just wanted to see this crazy tunnel staircase that's out here that I've shown in the, the little bits of footage that you've seen. Um, and this is actually an art center. This is the Centre Pompidou. It's an art, art uh, building. And I just want to point out, like, these stairs are really cool, in my opinion. Because they crisscross, the same way the nets crisscross. And you got this weird thing going on here. I think it's cool. It's, it, there was a lot of controversy about this when it first went up. People were like, why is this a building? And I still kind of agree with that, but at the same time, it's just so completely bizarre that I'm okay with it. Bye bye, Centre Pompidou. Okay, 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 okay. So many cool things. First of all, crows, cool. Second, the detailing on this pole. In this light post is cool. Third, third thing is this shop, which I was just in and I freaking loved. And if I was rich, I would buy a ton of stuff. Fourth, Bugs Bunny, just chilling up here. Fifth, these wall arts. It's just, I love it. It's so weird and cool, and I like this little corner. Oh, and there's a person feeding a cat over there. Okay, we're gonna keep walking, but I just wanted to share all of that. This, this is their city hall. I am sad. I am sad that we don't have architecture this grand. Although our city hall, old, old city hall, is pretty cool. I see Notre Dame! Except we're going there tomorrow, not today. We're just passing it today because we're doing a tour tomorrow and it's on the tour, but it looks so cool. Okay, so we're back at the apartment. Long story short, uh, we walked past a bunch of souvenir shops, checked those out. Then it started to rain, so we walked all the way back and it was farther than expected. It was about a 45 minute walk. Uh, so we did that. We picked up some food and now we're just gonna eat and chill and go to bed. So, gonna say good night and tomorrow we're going to a bunch of famous French landmarks. What is my hair doing? We're going to a bunch of famous French landmarks, so that should be really cool. So we will see you then. Hello and good morning to the vlog. Uh, we're heading out a bit later today because it was raining this morning and our plans were either to do a bus tour or a walking tour, neither of which really work when it's raining. <laughs> so we waited out the rain. And now we're gonna head out, and we're, we've decided that we're gonna do the walking bit uh, today. So we're gonna head over to the Pantheon first, uh, see a bit of stuff there, and then we're gonna go to a comic book store, the one that we were going to yesterday, except it was closed when, well, we figured it was gonna be closed because we were too late, and then to Notre Dame. So that's gonna be really cool. And then tomorrow we'll do the bus tour where we see the Eiffel Tower, um, the Louvre, and other uh, major sites in Paris. So. Without further ado, let's head on out and go. Welcome to the Pantheon in Paris, and it looks gorgeous, and we're gonna get up closer and take some photos at it.
we're leaving the Pantheon now, and that is probably the most beautiful building I've ever seen in my life. So now we're headed to a money exchange place so we can fix ourselves, and then we're going to go to a comic shop. So we're just gonna walk and try and find this exchange place now. But that was honestly amazing. So over here we have Le Petit Cluny, and then you go this way a little bit, and you have Stop Cluny, although the tree's kind of blocking it, but I can promise you that's what it says. There we go. Stop Cluny. <laughs> here it is, here's the place, we found it, we found it, we found it, we found it. Here's the place. To go in. So that was pretty cool. They had a bunch of Harry Potter and other comic type stuff. And then it seems that if you go directly diagonal across the street over there, I'll zoom in, they are opening a new other half of it in January. So that's, that's pretty cool. Or actually wait, it should already be open. Maybe it closed. That would make more sense. It closed and it opened up on this side of the road and that side of the road just has stuff on it. Okay, I'm too tired now, but we're gonna keep going to Notre Dame because apparently I'm too tired to figure out that 2018 is the year we're currently in. In any case, we're gonna head to Notre Dame, so let's go. We have arrived at Notre Dame and we're gonna go see if we can get inside. Oh god, is this the lineup? Let's hope not. So this is in fact the line and we are waiting, but at least this gives me time to swap cameras to the big camera. I'm gonna put the small one away so I can have the big camera to take photos with because this is so beautiful. And I've wanted to come here pretty much my whole life, so it's kind of cool. Kind of really cool, actually. Notre Dame was beautiful, and as you will have seen by the footage, and now we're leaving. 
Um, we couldn't go up in the towers, uh, even though we wanted to, because I think they're under construction. We're not 100% sure about that, but we can't, we couldn't figure out how to go up there. Nobody else was going up there, and there was some construction going on, and like, even you can see, maybe not, you can't see, but there's some netting up there. So, it's kind of sad, but, uh, I'll probably end up back here one day, and then I'll go up. Because, yeah, nobody's up there right now, so. Oh well, but I will come back, and I will go up. Well, there's the city hall that we saw yesterday that I don't think I explained. Still think it's crazy majestic. But yeah. Um, it literally takes us two hours to walk from the Notre Dame area back to our apartment, which makes no sense because on maps, on Google Maps and whatever, it says it's about 40 minutes. But it's not that we're walking super slow. And yes, we are stopping to look at stuff, but if you take out that time, it's still like an hour, an hour and a half. So, Google Maps is lying. Um, so we're going to figure out a more efficient way to get places because walking an hour and a half at dark before even having had dinner is a little bit crazy because like now it's like 8 13 and we left there around like 6 so yeah this is beginning a little out of hand and side note <laughs> not rant not over side note um we're not even that far like we're near the Gare de Léon so we're not even like far away from it which is probably the most annoying part so yeah Apart from that, uh, Paris is wonderful, but that, that can get a little bit annoying sometimes, to be honest. Well, as you can see, the kitchen is now a mess because I just finished cooking, so we're gonna eat, and yeah. Um, that is pretty much it for the night. So, good night all, and tomorrow we will be doing the stuff that I promised we've been doing for the last few days. We are going to finally be doing the Eiffel Tower and the Arc de Triomphe and the other famous landmarks.